Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about ground tissue system in the leaves, stem, and roots. In this session, I will take up another topic that is vascular tissue system. What are vascular tissues? Xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem together called vascular tissues. They constitute vascular tissues and they are the chief conducting elements in the plant body. They are helpful in conduction of water. They are useful in conduction of water, minerals and food material and food material from one place to another place in the plant body. Xylem helpful in transportation of water and minerals from root system to various parts of the plant body and phloem is involved in the transportation of food materials from leaves to various parts of plant body okay and this xylem and phloem associated to form vascular bundles next this xylem and phloem are extends different parts of plant body or you understand this xylem and phloem are originates from procambium they originates from procambium phloem is differentiated earlier than xylem that is differentiated earlier than xylem during differentiation during phloem differentiation phloem differentiation it starts from periphery and extends up to center the phloem differentiation starts from periphery this is peripheral side and it extends up to the center this type of growth is called centripetal growth centripetal growth centripetal growth next the first formed phloem is called protophloem first formed phloem is called protophloem and later formed phloem is called metaphloem meta phloem the plants which are showing uh, secondary growth this meta phloem is replaced by secondary phloem secondary phloem and the plants which does not have secondary growth this meta phloem is remain active that remains active and it is present throughout the plant life next in the steel in the steel if the phloem is present outside the xylem this is xylem this is outer side and this is inner side if the phloem is present outside the xylem that phloem is called ectophloem this is ectophloem if the phloem is present inner to the xylem inner to the xylem that phloem is called endophloem endophloem this is about phloem like phloem xylem is also differentiated from procambium during differentiation of xylem from procambium first formed xylem is called protoxylem protoxylem and later formed xylem is called metaxylem first formed one is called protoxylem and later formed one is called metaxylem right this protoxylem is having annular and spiral thickenings they are smaller in size they are small in size and they have annular or spiral thickenings spiral thickenings coming to metaxylem metaxylem elements are larger in size they are larger in size and they contain uh, reticulate or pitted thickenings reticulate or pitted thickenings okay these xylem elements differentiate from procambium in three methods they are differentiate from procambium in three methods first one is centripetal growth 
सेंट्रीपेटल ग्रोथ एंड सेकेंड वन इज सेंट्रीफ्यूगल ग्रोथ सेंट्रीफ्यूगल ग्रोथ एंड थर्ड टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ इज कॉल्ड सेंट्रीपेटल एंड सेंट्रीफ्यूगल ग्रोथ सेंट्रीपेटल एंड सेंट्रीफ्यूगल ग्रोथ इन दीज थ्री वेज जाइलम इज डिफरेंशिएटिंग फ्रॉम प्रोकेमियम एंड इट फॉर्म्स जाइलम एलिमेंट्स कमिंग टू फर्स्ट वन सेंट्रीपेटल ग्रोथ इन दिस प्रोकेमियम डिफरेंशिएशन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम पेरीफेरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू इमेजिन दैट दिस इज द आउटर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ द स्टील एंड दिस इज द सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ द स्टील दैट इज पिथ इन दिस प्रोकेमियम डिफरेंशिएट दैट बिगिन्स टू डिफरेंशिएट फ्रॉम पेरीफेरी दिस इज पेरीफेरल साइड एंड इट एक्सटेंड्स अप टू द सेंटर इट एक्सटेंड्स अप टू द सेंटर in this way this prokaryotic is differentiated so that in this type the protozoic elements are present towards the periphery and metazoic elements are present towards the center this is center towards the center metazoic elements are present towards the periphery protozoic elements are present this type of xylem is called exarch xylem exarch xylem which is seen in roots it is seen in roots of plants right next coming to second one centrifugal growth centrifugal growth in this type the differentiation begins at the center this is center and this is periphery periphery in this the differentiation begins at the center and which extends up to the periphery which extends up to the periphery so that this type of xylem having protozoic elements towards the center and metazoic elements directed towards the periphery they are directed towards the periphery such xylem is called endark xylem endark xylem which is seen in uh, stems it is found in stems okay are you understand next coming to third one centripetal and centrifugal growth centripetal and centrifugal growth in this after completion of protozoic formation this is protozoic this protozoic formation takes place after that metazoic formation occurs on outside and inside outside and inside this type of xylem is called mesarch xylem it is known as mesarch xylem are you understand in this mesarch type of xylem centrally placed placed protozoic is present on the either side of the protozoic metazoic elements are located such type of xylem is called mesarch xylem and which is found in pteridophytes right this is about growth next coming to types of vascular bundles based on the arrangement of xylem and phloem vascular bundles are classified into mainly four types they are number 1 collateral vascular bundles collateral vascular bundles and second type of vascular bundles are bicollateral vascular bundles bicollateral vascular bundles next third type of vascular bundles are concentric vascular bundles concentric vascular bundles and fourth type of vascular bundles are radial vascular bundles radial vascular bundles now i will explain one by one coming to first one collateral vascular bundles in this xylem and phloem both are occur side by side they present side by 
side side by side you imagine that this is a vascular bundle in this vascular bundle xylem and phloem this is xylem and this is phloem both are present side by side and they are present on the same radius that means xylem and phloem are present on the same radius same line okay again these collateral vascular bundles are divided into two types they are closed collateral vascular bundles closed collateral vascular bundles and open collateral vascular bundles based on the presence or absence of cambium these collateral vascular bundles are divided into two types they are closed collateral vascular bundles and open collateral vascular bundles coming to first one closed collateral vascular bundles in this xylem and phloem are arranged in the arranged on the same radius there is no cambium between xylem and phloem such vascular bundles are called closed collateral vascular bundles these closed collateral vascular bundles are seen in monocots they are seen in monocots right next coming to second one open collateral vascular bundles in open collateral vascular bundle this is xylem sorry this is a vascular bundle in this vascular bundle xylem and phloem are present on the same radius in between the xylem and phloem there is a cambium this is a cambium such vascular bundle is called open collateral vascular bundle these open collateral vascular bundles are seen in dicots they are seen in dicots and gymnosperms gymnosperms okay this is about first one collateral vascular bundles coming to second one bicollateral vascular bundle in this on the either side of the xylem this is xylem on the either side of the xylem phloem elements are present such vascular bundles are called bicollateral vascular bundles in between the xylem and phloem there is a cambium on both sides this is cambium on both sides on both sides of the xylem there is cambium that is present between xylem and phloem this is phloem and this is phloem in such a vascular bundle that have outer phloem outer phloem and outer cambium outer cambium next this is xylem next inner cambium inner cambium and this is inner phloem inner phloem these all are present in the bicollateral vascular bundles these bicollateral vascular bundles are found in cucurbitaceae family members cucurbitaceae family members right are you understand next coming to concentric vascular bundles concentric vascular bundles in this type one type of tissue is surrounded by other one one type of tissue is surrounded by or covered by other that means xylem is surrounded by phloem or phloem is surrounded by xylem in which cambium is absent there is no cambium between xylem and phloem these vascular bundles are again divided into two types based on the based on type of tissue which is present at the center and which is present on periphery they are number 1 amphivascular vascular bundles amphi vascular vascular bundles and second one is amphi cribal vascular bundles amphi cribal vascular bundles these amphi vascular vascular bundles are also called leptocentric leptocentric vascular bundles and these amphi cribal vascular bundles are called hydrocentric vascular bundles hydrocentric vascular bundles are you understand 
Once again, I am repeating. Concentric vascular bundles are divided into two types based on the arrangement of tissues. In that, first one is amphivascular vascular bundles. Second one, amphicribal vascular bundles. Amphivascular vascular bundles are also called leptocentric vascular bundles. And amphicribal vascular bundles are called hydrocentric vascular bundles. In leptocentric, leptocentric vascular bundles, centrally located phloem is present. So on the central position, phloem is present, and this phloem is surrounded by xylem. Such vascular bundles are called amphivascular vascular bundles or leptocentric vascular bundles. Lepto means phloem. Phloem is present at the center, leptocentric. At the center, phloem is present and it is surrounded by xylem. It is found in pteridophytes. Pteridophytes. Right? Next, coming to amphicribal vascular bundles. It is also called hydrocentric vascular bundles. Hydro means xylem. In the center of the vascular bundle, xylem is present and this xylem is surrounded by phloem xylem is surrounded by phloem this is phloem this is xylem such a vascular bundle is called amphicribal vascular bundle it is seen in dracaena it is seen in dracaena next last one radial vascular bundles radial vascular bundles in radial vascular bundles, xylem and phloem are not present on the same radius. Xylem and phloem not on same radius. Same radius and they are alternating with one another. You assume that this is a steel. This is steel. In the steel, xylem and phloem are alternating with one another these are the phloem elements or xylem elements xylem elements and this is phloem this is phloem these are xylem elements this xylem and phloem are not present on the same radius they are not present on the same radius and they are alternating with one another. Such a uh, vascular bundle is called radial vascular bundles. They are seen in roots. They are found in roots. This is about types of vascular bundles based on the arrangement of xylem and phloem. In the next class, I will come with another topic. Thank you.